Well, space got weird. Again, enter 3 Eye Atlas. Again, most common spout tails that point away from the sun. But this one, it dared to grow a plume toward the sun before the anti-solar tail ever showed up. That's like a cat walking into a bath. Welcome to jumping on the bandwagon. Let's see what kind of cosmic mischief this is. So here's what's been seen. In July and August of 2025, the coma of 3i Atlas was elongated in the direction of the sun, dust and gas being spewed outwards sunwards. Not a classic tail, but a sun-facing dust plume. Later, an anti-solar tail emerged, but even then, the inner coma stayed brighter on the sunward side. In other words, before the usual blow-away-from-the-sun effect kicked in, this coma tried to defy the expectations. So how the heck do you get a plume pointed at the source of heat that's supposed to push everything away? Here's some leading ideas. 1. Because the sunlit side of the nucleus gets more intense heating, sublimation is stronger there. Ice grains emitted sunward might survive longer, travel some distance and still be detectable. That gives a sunward extension of material. That's one mechanism in the Kito and Loeb model. 2. Larger ice or dust grains may resist radiation pressure and slower sublimation, making them less easily blown away than finer grains. These more robust grains can linger or drift somewhat inward before being lost. 3. The comet's orientation and the angle of sunlight might favor more ejection in the sunward direction, so more mass flux is pushed toward us in that direction. 4. Other distant comets like the Bernardinelli Bernstein have shown sunward enhancements of dust emission, so it's not totally without precedent in comet science. In short, it's not magic, it's physics, grains, angles and survival times doing their weird dance. Of course, none of this is as sensational as 3i Atlas fires retro rockets, spaceship confirmed, or NASA has made contact, or even two obviously deepfake videos where five days ago the deepfake of Michio Kako said something is wrong here, and 17 hours ago got one-upped by the deepfake of Brian Cox who said something's very wrong here. The only thing I see here is a potential misappropriation of likeness lawsuit. And I have to say, I love the design of this spaceship. If you get tired of seeing the cosmos through a window, you can just take a break for some rock climbing. I mean, this is genius. That's exactly what's missing in our space program. Mountains. So there you have it. 3i Atlas didn't wait for its tail to behave. It started rebelliously in third one direction, then settled into a normal tail mode later. The sunward plume tells us a lot about how material is ejected, how grains survive, and what the surface and illumination geometry might be. Hopefully see you on the next one. Up until then, don't let clickbait pointers get in the way of strange, fascinating space.